really just getting comfortable. Yeah, I'm sitting off center because Winifred is right here. Well, her name is Winnie, but we call her Fred, and then we just kind of sometimes combine the two to Winifred, and yeah, she's just snuggled up right next to me, and I am not telling her to move because I just love it. Do you feel like doing some DIYing with me today? Well, come on in. Let's get started. today. Today I'm bringing to you two DIYs that are amazing, that are fun, they are decor pieces, they are versatile pieces, they can easily be done to suit any decor style, and did I say they're quick, easy, and budget, budget friendly? I didn't tell you that. They are. They are budget friendly and I love the outcome of these. I can't wait to show you what I have in store for you for today for these quick, easy, and budget-friendly DIYs that I think you are gonna love, that you're gonna wanna add to your decor because they're so stinking cute. So I'm gonna quit my gabbin, let's jump into it, and let's do some DIYing on a budget today. Why? Because we can, and that's what we do here. Let's get started. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll want to stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. Jumping on into this, when you're at Dollar Tree, you're going to want to go down the dish aisle and pick up one of these clear bowls mm -hmm, and one of these fun mugs. These are kind of a new addition to Dollar Tree, been around about a year. Walmart has these doll heads. They also have, I want to say caps as well. They're about $1.97. Since I had these doll heads in my stash, I figured that these would be perfect to put on the bottom of the bowl and the cup. The glue I'm using is a quick grip glue that you can get, I want to say from Michaels, and it dries within an hour, so I like it a bit better. I'll also be using some of Apple Barrel's Chocolate Sprinkle. This is a multi-surface paint, so it's going to stick well to glass, and that's what we want. Sometimes when you paint glass with an acrylic paint, after that first coat, it kind of lifts up. Well, to prevent that, you're gonna wanna use a multi-surface paint, so that way you can put the multiple coats on to get the coverage that you're looking for. And I'm painting the inside of this bowl because I feel like that's gonna help prevent scratching. And this is a better paint because it is a multi-surface and it is dishwasher safe. So it's gonna adhere a bit better to the glass and it's inexpensive. Look at how cool that looks. By painting it on the inside, it looks amazing on the outside. To the inside of this bowl, I picked up some of these LED wire lights from Dollar Tree that I figured I'd place inside. I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with the battery box yet. I ended up not putting it inside the bowl um, and keeping it out. Yep, there we go. And to keep the lights in, I just went the route of using some hot glue to actually tack it down where the LED lights are and it stuck really well. If you wanna go in and reinforce it with a little bit of tape along the sides there, you can. You kinda of wanna leave the middle of the bowl open because we've got plans for this bowl. Just wait for it. But before I show you what I'm doing with this bowl, I dug into my stash of flowers. I love these flowers. You can get them at Michael's for $2 a pack and you're getting five flowers and they come in all kinds of colors. They've got that wire on it, so I just snip it off. Using a bit of hot glue, I'm gonna go ahead and just place this on the outside of the bowl. And so many of you probably already know where I'm going with this, but oh my goodness, I love this piece. To the flower, I wanted to add some bigger leaves just because it looked a bit bare. So I am using some lamb ears because I love the color of those. I feel like they are just so farmhouse chic and that's kind of the way I'm going with this DIY. And so yeah, just by adding them to the back of this flower, it's gonna finish this what is going to be, oh wait, I'm not gonna tell you in case you don't know, wait for it. Apple Barrel's Antique Parchment is another great color. This is the perfect color cream if you're looking for that. And so I picked up one of these smaller craft vases from Dollar Tree. And so to the inside of this, it's gonna get a good couple coats of the antique parchment. 
And would you look at this when you turn the vase upside down, you place that adorable bowl on top. Look at what it's made. It's made a mini lamp. To disguise or hide the battery box, just stick it in the vase. Easy access. With the cup here, I went ahead and wanted to kind of hide the handle. I didn't want to paint the handle just because I kind of like the way it looks clear. But I do want to disguise it a bit, so I figured that'd be the perfect place to put a flower in some of those lamb ears. I did in fact put lights in the mug as well. I tacked it down with some electrical tape just because it was a bit smaller and I am loving it. And the box, the battery box, yep, it's just gonna go right under there. Easy access to turn it on and off. Let's go take a look at these set up. Look at how stinking cute these are. It is light out, so you can see that there is a glow under these. And at night, oh my goodness, you're gonna wanna see this in a second. They really glow brightly. They really illuminate nicely. I think that these are such fun pieces that are versatile, that can easily be done to suit any decor style by switching up the paint, switching up the flower choice, and would you look at those. Yep, these are perfect for me. I feel like these are something that I'm gonna make often and gift because I just love the look and the feel of them. Perfect for a nightstand or a side table. Today, well, it's Valentine's Day and I love to do sweet treats for the girls. So I picked up some of these Valentine's Day chocolate chips by Toll House. Oh my goodness, they're good. This ready-made cookie dough comes in blocks that are supposed to be easy to break apart and just throw onto a cookie sheet and bam, you've got cookies. And they really are. But these blocks are a bit too big for what I need them for. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut them into slices using the blocks, I guess, as a reference. I'm gonna cut each block really in half, and that is gonna be the size that you need for what I'm about to do with these. Oh my goodness. This is so quick, so easy, and it's such a fun, sweet treat to gift anybody on Valentine's Day. You still got time. These silicone mold trays, you can get them at Walmart, 447, right? By placing the cookie dough in these trays, Look at there. We have just made heart-shaped chocolate chip cookies or any cookies that you like. What a fun way to give somebody a Valentine's Day sweet treat on a budget. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? Well, it's going out to Chris C. Diana, who's bringing to us her recreation of my DIY fake leather flowers using the leather rolls that you can get at Dollar Tree. Amazing, right? And would you look at how stinking cute these flowers turned out? Chris C. Diana, thank you so much for sharing your recreation with us today. If you're interested in being featured as a crafter of the day in one of my videos, submit a picture of one of your recreations of a DIY that I've done to either Facebook or Instagram. If you wanna DM it to me, you can. Then you just simply have to look out for the end of each video to see if it's your DIY that I will be featuring in that given video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find these links, guess where? Yes, in the description box below. How fun are these mini lamps? Oh my word, I love them. The LEDs make them so usable and that is the best part. And they are amazing pieces. These pieces do not look like items that we picked up from the Dollar Tree and used. Well, maybe the one with the cup, but I love the look and the funness of adding that cup as the lampshade. I hope you all enjoyed today's fun mini lamp Dollar Tree DIYs. If you're looking for more inspiration from me, some more DIYs, well, guess what? You can click on the video right over here and it'll take you to some of my past favorites. Until next time, everybody. I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive, please, because I'm sure trying.